Hi there, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Debru, and in this video we are going to take a look at the native ads platform Rev Content. So we're going to take a look at what kind of traffic do they have available as well as create a native ads campaign. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Debru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. All right, here we are on the homepage of Rev Content, and today we are going to review them. So we're going to take a look at what kind of traffic do they have, and can we create a native ads campaign? So let's dive straight in. All right, let's take a look for publishers revenue without restrictions for advertisers. That's going to be us. Spend your budget uh, your way. Uh, not all traffic is created equal with a focus on quality over quantity ref content helps advertisers tap into highly engaged audiences at all stages of the marketing funnel enabling brands to expand reach develop loyal customers and increase sales all right uh, modern lightweight flexible all right so they have the video option as well in the lab let's take a look at the advertisers tab we can get some more information here high quality traffic premium publishers all right okay brand safety real-time ROAS all right not too much of interesting information here they don't have the countries or the traffic or etc 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 so let's just uh, let's just dive straight in we're gonna log in here and we're gonna take a look at the inside of ref content all right, here we are. So this is the dashboard of Ref Content. Down here we have our support options. Uh, right here we can engage and monetize your audience. Uh, so basically view your widgets, view your placements. And right here, boost your content. So this is the uh, create a campaign boost. So the boost is basically the name of a campaign. So instead of creating a campaign, it is called creating a campaign boost. Let's do that. Let's start and try create our native ads campaign. So first we got to give the boost a name. Let's just call it Deru. Then we have the bid amount. So $35 cents per click right now. Uh, it's the only option per click, just so you know. So let's keep that as is right now. Then we have the budget amount. So we can set daily or unlimited. Oh, unlimited is not available so we have to set a daily uh, budget which is fine so let's set a daily budget of $200 what's the minimum by the way uh, okay at least $100 so $100 is the minimum to run with Rev content as a daily budget we're just gonna set it on 200 for now then we have the pacing this probably has to do with the spend strategy let's check real quick uh, yes, so when the pacing is on, it will try to spend your daily budget, in this case $200, equally throughout the day. And if you turn this off, it will spend that $200 as soon as possible, giving the option that maybe after two, three hours, your complete, complete budget has been spent, and the rest of that day, there will be no money spent on impressions, all right? So I'm gonna turn pacing on. I like to spread my data over the full 24 hours. Conversion tracking, so right here you can create your conversion pixel, uh, create a name and an amount. Then we have the brand logo. Automatically detect, so that's probably gonna be automatically detected from our campaign link, uh, but we're just gonna upload a logo, 34 by 34 pixels. Let's open up Canva real quick so that we have the right dimensions. 34 by 34, at least 40. All right, so that's gonna be 40 by 40 then. Create new design, very small by the way, but it's just an icon, so it makes sense. All right, let's upload something, perfect. And let's download it. All right, and see if we can drag this in. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so this is the brand logo, a very, very small logo, uh, 34 by 34 pixels. I just used 40 by 40 and let them crop it a little bit. Uh, so this is gonna be the brand logo. Nice that they have that option. 
Then we have the scheduling. So we have the start date immediately or specific date. Immediately, of course, is immediately after approval, not really right now. They need to approve our ads first, or we can set a specific date on which we want to start spending. And we can also set an end date, so never ends or a specific date. Um, but of course, I uh, like to look at my data to tell when I'm going to shut my campaign down. So I'm going to set it on never ends initially. All right, then we have the traffic types. So apart from native, they also have ad block and push notification traffic. But we're going to focus on native right now. Then we have the country targeting. So which country are we going to promote? We're going to include one country and uh, let's say that's going to be uh, Portugal. All right. Perfect. Then we have the regions targeting so we can include or exclude specific regions in Portugal, as you can see. However, looks like we do not have any uh, city targeting. So we cannot target specific cities that might perform well uh, with our campaign. Uh, so we only have the options to choose specific countries and specific regions like states. All right, then we have the device targeting. Uh, so all the devices, desktop, mobile or tablet. Uh, let's, um, let's do desktop only. All right, and then we have a second targeting option, uh, which is all desktop or operating systems or just Mac OS or Windows. Uh, we're going to go with both. And then as soon as I have some more data on the users using Mac and Windows, I can tell whether one or the other is performing better and if I should turn the other one off or not. Then we have browser targeting. Uh, so same one goes here. I'm going to wait for the data to come in and tell me which browsers are performing best. Uh, but then afterwards, we can select specific browsers that we want to run on right here. Then we have the language targeting. All right. So we have English, French, Spanish. Okay. So I think Portuguese. Look at that. 65,000. So I think these are worldwide records, as it looks like, uh, because when we are in Portugal, I don't think that 53 million people speak English and 1.5 French, 1.1 Spanish and Portugal all the way down here. Right. So that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I guess these are worldwide uh, results, uh, in which case I still want to promotes towards Portuguese speaking people. Um, however, it's not a huge audience, only 65,000 people and a half. All right. Um, so not a very big audience. And hmm. well, let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. Then we have the tracking UTM tracking right here. So when you click right here, you should be able to create it. There we go. All right. But we're going to skip that for now. And we have the page view tracking so we can paste the script in the headline in the header. I'm sorry, in the header of the document uh, to uh, track page views as well. Let's save this for now. Filter cre create campaign boost. Please choose at least one region. Oh, okay. Uh, all regions. Perfect. See if we can save now. Native ads. All right, that's better. All right, add content. So this is going to be the creatives that we're going to add. That's going to be the content, of course. So we can add existing. That's cool. So if we already have, what was that? Oh, I'm I'm adding something, but I don't know what. That's strange. Um, okay. But probably we can add saved content or something. We're going to do add new destination URL. So this is going to be your campaign URL. I'm just going to put Devru in here. All right. We have a headline. So we have 80 characters for our headline. All right. Uh, then we have 250 characters for our description, which is quite a lot and a brand name. That's going to be 30 characters. All right, then we have the image upload or a video uploads. 
Um, so you can use one of these two per creative, I assume. Uh, we're just gonna go with these simple image uploads. Uh, animated GIF slash web page support enabled for GIF images. First frame will be used on non-participating sites. So not every site likes to have GIFs between their content, especially when promoted by advertisers. So they say, okay, we do not support GIF images. And in that case, if you use a GIF image on a website in which it does not support it, uh, then in that case, it will be the first frame of your GIF that will be shown on that specific website. All right. So that's very good to know when you pick a GIF for your campaign. If you want to run with a GIF and you pick a GIF for your campaign, make sure that the first frame is suitable so that when it shows on a placement that does not support GIF, it still makes sense to the user who in the end gets to see your ad. All right. So try to think of that when you are adding a GIF image. Uh, the system will automatically crop and resize your photo. All right. Um, okay, so we do not have any dimensions whatsoever. Uh, let's see. Then I'm just going to go with some, some somewhat in the range of a general native image. So let's see by 315, somewhat like that. All right. Let's just, uh, let's just drag a picture in here. I don't really care what it is. Download this and then we're going to go back into the campaign, click on change photo and we're going to pick the picture that we just created. All right. Um, did that upload? I don't know. We don't get to see anything like a uh, preview or anything. I don't get to see my image. I am assuming that it went through. It did count to 100. Wait, maybe I can drag it in. Maybe that's the thing. It does upload. It says that it uploads, but it doesn't seem to upload. Let's press submit. Let's see. Okay, so these are the ones that we added, I think, with that quick ad. Um, but I don't get to see any content preview. Neither on the one that we created. Hmm, let's see. Okay, that's strange. So they're all just Hmm. All right, let's let's try to create it one more time. Add new. We're going to do the same thing all over again. Let's see if this image works, all right? Uh, okay. Change photo. Or maybe the picture is too big. Let's just try that logo that we just created. That should be very small. Nothing happens. No preview. All right. So that's a little bit weird. Um, strange. Okay, so the, the campaign creating is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, doesn't take a lot of time and you clearly see what is what. I am missing a couple of targeting options, however. Um, so I missed the uh, schedule, for example. So if the data tells me that on Monday I do not get any conversions, then maybe I want to stop promoting my ads on Monday. So I don't seem to have the option to say, okay, Keep running for six days a week. Just cut that Monday. Uh, I'm missing that feature. I cannot target specific cities, which is uh, maybe not that big of a deal in the early campaign. But later on, I might want to focus on specific cities that generate my revenue. Uh, and I do not seem to have that option. I can only target on region. And that's as far as it goes. Um, and the image thing, I don't know where my images went. I don't know why it doesn't show. It doesn't seem to be uploaded, by, but I have no way to check. Uh, so that is very unfortunate. Then I would have to contact the uh, account manager once again to see if those images are uploaded correctly or not. Um, I don't see my headlines either. There, it's, it does say content preview right here, but it doesn't show a content preview. 
so I don't know what's exactly going on right here um, with the campaign creation. Like I said, it's a very easy setup campaign wise, uh, but the options are limited in regards to targeting. Um, there's not a whole lot of traffic if we saw those numbers uh, while sele selecting the browser language. Uh, it did not seem like there is a whole lot of traffic in all those different countries. Uh, but the main, my main part is why is that image not uploading? Why do I not get to see my creatives? I want to make sure everything is uploaded right before I start spending on my campaign. I don't want to start spending my money unless I know everything is set up 100% correctly. And with ref content, to be quite honest, I don't know if it is set up properly. I don't know if it saved the image that I created for my campaign. So that is a problem. Um, and I want to see them. I want to see a preview of my ads and making sure that everything is set up properly. So ref content limited targeting uh, options. Uh, and the upload of the image, they need to do something uh, to fix that because I don't know whether I can launch my campaign live and everything is set up right or not. So that is a big problem. So that is going to be it for the review of Rev content. But no worries because of course, like usual, there will always be more to come. So I will just catch you next time and until then, peace out. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.